This is the Seiko 5 GMT and I'm going to tell you why it is the ultimate summer watch. Welcome back to Time of the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. My name is Harrison, as always, and today we have the Seiko 5 GMT. This is the Black Grape Edition. Now, I know there's a couple of different iterations of this model, but personally, this is the one that I was most attracted to. It's quite unique in a lot of different ways, and with summer fully on us at the moment, I think it's probably the perfect summer watch. So let's start with specs. The case diameter on this watch comes in at 42.5 and the case thickness comes in at 13.6 millimeters. Now, normally when I am wearing a watch every day, I will not go above 42 millimeters, but obviously there are exceptions to the rules. And because this is black, because it has a dark sort of face and bezel, it makes it look and feel a little bit smaller when on the wrist. It is quite a compact piece, so I'd say that it wears more like a 42, a 41.5. So actually, it suits. The lug to lug on this model comes in at 46 millimeters. So as I said previously, it is quite a compact watch and when you have it on the wrist, you can feel that. It does feel a little bit smaller than it actually is, which I'm a fan of. The one thing though that makes it maybe feel a little bit bigger, which maybe adds a little bit of presence to this watch, is the crown. And of course the crown is at the four o'clock mark, which is pretty iconic to the Seiko Sumo range. And I do quite like this. It's a weird thing to say. I know it's a bit like Marmite to some people, but I'm a fan of this. The case and the bracelet on this model have a combination of brushed and polished steel. Predominantly sticking with the brushed steel, which is a good thing because polished shows scratches more than brushed, in my opinion. But it highlights the edging and those sharp turns with the highlights of um, polished steel. Uh, the central three links running down the middle of the bracelet are polished. I'm not gonna lie, if I had this watch, I would change the bracelet. I'd probably change it to either a rubber or a NATO. Having said that, if I changed it to a NATO, it would sit quite high off the wrist. I would probably go for a rubber on this model. I just, the bracelet's nice, but it's just not doing it for me. My personal preference would be the rubber. On the back of the bracelet, we have a safety latch just here, and then we have a deployment clasp that comes down like so. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I need to say something, something a bit more personal. I am spoiled in the position that I'm at. Chisholm Hunter have spoiled me, and I'm very lucky to be here because I can review any watch that I choose, really. I can I can review a Blancpain tomorrow, I can review a Breggy, a Vacheron, these hugely expensive premium pieces. But I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for Seikos, for Hamiltons, for Tissots. When I look at my watch collection at home, some of, some of my most sentimental watch purchases have been my Hamilton Khaki Field or my Tissot PRX. These watches are quality and you guys should be proud to wear them. You know, there's a reason why the Seiko 5s or the Seiko Sports range is so popular. And it's because it's just a brilliant collector's piece. The bezel on this watch is probably one of, if not the most attractive feature in my personal opinion. It's beautiful. It obviously is a GMT, so half in half, it has half black. And this is where I'm going to trip up because I actually don't know what color this is. It's almost like a mirror, half of the bezel is reflective. It almost looks like a dark silver mirror. Now, the reason why it's called a black grape, I will never know. It's just the nickname that it's got. And sometimes these nicknames, they're just nicknames. They don't really make much sense, but it's beautiful. I would highly suggest getting on the wrist, coming into Chisholm Hunter and just trying this on. Don't, don't be pressured to buy anything, but just to see the beauty of that bezel, that reflective metal, whatever they've used here, it's stunning. GMT models can obviously read multiple time zones and this is why I've picked it for the summer watch. Partly because it's a brilliant price for a lot of watch, but also because it can read those multiple time zones. If you want to know what time it is back home, but also in the country that you're in, um, then it's perfect. I mean, you can see that. If you've got a son or a daughter that's in a different country, you don't want to wake them, you know, that's what I use it for. When I was in Bali, I used my, well, my phone, I had my Hamilton on, but I would have loved a GMT because I kept waking my parents up when I called them, so it is really useful. The numerals on the bezel are white, or kind of a silvery white, and it's funny, even though they're that light color, 
they aren't any less readable on the silver part of the bezel. Sometimes numerals get lost in amongst the other color, but I don't feel that these guys have been lost. I think it's highly, highly readable. And that's part of the reason that I love Seiko. They are very simplistic. They're very big, very bold. And when you're as blind as that like me, that really, really helps. I do have glasses. I normally wear glasses. So having that bold nature of readability helps me. When you move into the dial, it has a matte black dial and the super luminova that is on the indices and hands stands out beautifully against that matte black dial, feeding back into that kind of bold, readable theme. The GMT hand is bright red and I love that splash of color as well as the word GMT at the six o'clock mark. The indices and the hands are coated and polished in a highly polished metal that again stands out wonderfully and I'm reflecting it in the light at the moment, reflects the light beautifully. You can really see the detail in there. Moving straight into the date window on this model. But before we do, it's time for the wrist check. It's a tradition around here at Chisholm Hunter. What is on your wrist today? Let me know in the comments. At the moment, I have my Hamilton khaki field in the wrist, a brilliant everyday wearer, and I'd love to know what you have. The date window is at the three o'clock mark and is enhanced, is made bigger by the Cyclops eye. Now the Cyclops eye is the magnification window that sits over the date window. It just enlarges the date window. To be honest, I'm not as keen on Cyclops eyes and I'm also not as keen on three o'clock date windows, but this is 400 pounds and you're getting a GMT functionality as well as a date, as well as an automatic movement. I need to stop complaining because this is a good package. As you can see here, the loom shines bright green. And I want you to remember that this is a 400 pound watch. Look how bright that loom is. Now that we've covered the loom and the face and some of the details, let's get this on the scales and see how much it weighs. Let me just remove my phone. We've been posting a load of stuff on the Chisholm Hunter watches page. So that's our personal Instagram page recently. And so this is glued to me. This comes in at 164 grams. Now what we will do is put my Hamilton khaki field mechanical on the scales because I know that a lot of these watches that we're getting in might not necessarily be released yet. So this will give you a kind of a, a gauge on how much it actually weighs. My Hamilton khaki field comes in at between 59 to 61 grams. Now remember there's no bracelet on my Hamilton khaki field. So that is mostly coming from the head of the watch. So this is a lot heavier, but a lot of that will be coming from the bracelet. The movement in this model is Seiko's Caliber 4R34. It's produced in-house, it's automatic winding, has 24 joules and beats at a frequency of 21,600 VPH. It has a 41 hour power reserve, a central hour, minutes and second hands, date and independent 24 hour GMT indication. This full package, everything comes in at 400 pounds. And let's not lie here, you get a sexy bezel, a sexy GMT hand, great complications, a date window, uh, 100 meter water resistance and an open case back. Yes, the bracelet I would change, but there's always gonna be things on watches that you change. This is a perfect summer watch. And I think that whether it's your 10th watch in the collection or your first, you just can't go wrong with a Seiko 5. If you have enjoyed this video, then please subscribe in this little bubble right here. It's only one click away from you and we would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Time in the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. My name is Harrison, as always, and I am going to Italy. We're filming a couple of watches. Stay tuned.